guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I sat down to film and the sun went away and I feel like it's gonna come back. It's coming back right now as we speak. No, it's not. It isn't. So if the lighting changes, that's what's up. I'm wearing my Citrus Fresh shirt today. Here's the sun. <laughs> Told you. There's also somebody outside of our apartment banging on the stairs that lead up to our apartment, so that's good too. Should be a great video. But today I have a home haul for you. I love filming these. I mainly just like love to share my home stuff. I feel like I've gone through my phases of like obsessed with clothes, obsessed with makeup, and now I'm obsessed with home stuff. Mm. Son, I'm gonna need you to make up your mind, bitch. So this is kind of a collective haul. I ordered some things from Urban Outfitters. I went to Ikea. I went to Home Goods. I ordered something from Cost Plus World Market. I also just last night ordered more from Urban Outfitters because they have such good plant pot stuff right now. And I got a cool shelf. And of course, it's not here yet because I just ordered it, but I can share that at another time. <laughs> Today's video is actually sponsored by Ebates, which you guys know I love, love, love Ebates so much. I've been using Ebates consistently consistently for about a year. Let me just tell you my cash back right now. I'm not afraid to tell you. My total cash back over my entire year has been $820.25. It's amazing. I haven't even explained what it is. I got a little excited. Ebates is a website you can use to save money doing the online shopping you're already doing. It seems like something that's too good to be true, but it's totally not. I've cashed the checks, I've saved the money, and it's incredible. So basically what you do is you plug it in to your browser, and when you're online shopping a little guy will pop up in your little what? <laughs> your little corner there and it will say, hey, you're on Ulta. Today they're offering 3% cash back. Would you like to activate? Click activate. It redirects you to the website and it's that easy. This has nothing to do with this video, but I actually made money back on booking hotels for our honeymoon through Ebates. That was like a really amazing surprise because, you know, hotels are expensive and it was a good chunk of change back and it made it a little bit more worth it to stay at a hotel we were debating. And I mentioned this in a video before, but I have trained Bradley to always click activate because you never know if you're like browsing on a site, you're like, I'm not gonna buy anything today. But what if you do and you forgot to activate and then you don't make the money back? So you always click activate. Well, you can see some spoilers right there. Is this video too bright? And Ebates runs on tons of websites. I've used it on Ulta, Sephora, and Sephora and Ulta also have like deals consistently. And I'll list some of the deals that are going on right now because I feel like it changes week to week. But you know, there's been times that Sephora's offering up to like 8% cash back, which is crazy. It sends you a check to your house four times a year, so it's quarterly. The next one I think is coming in May. And if you sign up with my link, you get a $10 bonus. So I will have that down below for your first order. I will have all the info linked down below as well as the current deals, but seriously, sponsored or not I love Ebates I use it every time I online shop I have it on both of my computers Bradley's trained we love Ebates <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and jump in to the stuff I don't really know where to start I wish you guys could tell me where you want me to start like start with the plant pots or start with the frames we're gonna start with the plant pots and work our we're gonna start small work our way big because I have some big ticket items that are on the floor because they were too big to fit on the bed so we'll start with urban outfitters because I'm freaking pumped about this I got three plant pots I ordered more last night like I said but how freaking cute is this so this oh, I took off the tags so I don't know the names I will have them linked down below because I ordered them online I know they're there but this is just this really cute kind of like footed um, planter. And I guess you could put whatever you wanted in it, but I'm definitely wanting to put a snake plant. I love kind of lower, um, pots with sticky, sticky, pointier plants coming out of it. So, and snake plants, that's not what they're called. They have another name. It's also called like tongue of mother-in-law or something. I don't freaking know. But they are the easiest plant to take care of. I also have another pot that's a little bit bigger that I'm going to get another snake plant for. They need no sun, none. And you need to water them like once every two weeks like I forget about mine all the time and it's thriving so yeah snake plant is gonna go in here and I just loved the polka dot with the white and I believe there was another print don't remember what it is but I definitely preferred this one I just think it's so so freaking cute and looks so nice and it was like eight bucks twelve bucks something another little one that I think I'm going to put on my vanity I say this in every video but I'm working on like redoing my vanity where I film and well sometimes where I film today I'm in here but I want it to be a more um, film worthy space. I'm gonna put like twinkle lights on the back wall. I'm cleaning up the desk so it's not so cluttered. And I'm just really trying to get rid of crap in the den. We're really trying to turn over a new leaf in the den. I feel like I've been talking about it for a year, but it's hard. That's kind of like a bonus room in our apartment. We don't really have any storage closets. So that was kind of it. So we're working on other ways to store things. I've, I've really been utilizing the under the bed storage, the in my closet storage, um, and just trying to make that more of a room and less of like half of a storage space. So why am I talking about this? That has not- oh, because I'm gonna put this on that desk. 
I put another little plant that I, um, I am going to have a plant update, like a garden update video coming for you. I was just waiting until I got some like other projects done. So that should be coming next month. I will try to get that up in which I showed me repotting another little plant that I got that I have in the back of my videos over there and I love the pop of green. So I want to do another one and this is just so cute. I don't know if you can see from here. I'll show you a close up but she has some lipstick and some eyelashes and she's so cute and she kind of looks like a bigger like egg cup. I don't know what I'll put in her. Um, I have a Chinese money plant that's back there, which looks incredible. Every day I'm like, Bradley, look at our money plant. It's thriving. But I follow this Instagram called The Sill, and they were showing how you can break off the smaller pieces that grow from the bottom and replant them into their own pot. So I might do that for a couple of these pots. My nose itches. But may, besides it being like a money plant, I don't know the real name for it, but I truly love the way it looks. I'll show it to you as I'm talking about it because this must be frustrating that I'm talking about this plant and you can't see it. It's just very like satisfying. So I might put that in there. I'm going to go to the plant shop today just because I want to. <laughs> uh, and then I want to do some repotting. So yeah, we will see what ends up in here. And then this one might be my favorite. I don't know. It's just so like basic. My mom called it boring, but I said, shut up, mom. <laughs> that didn't happen. But she did say it was boring. I think. Maybe I made that up. Mom, let me know. But again, it has like little feet on it, which is so cute. And it's kind of just like white ceramic with like cream tile. That's not the word. It has a different texture and it's kind of dripping down and I just like the colors of it. I like that it's pretty neutral. Me and Bradley are obsessed with shelves at the moment. Okay, well I'm obsessed with shelves and Bradley likes it. <laughs> so I ordered another one off Urban Outfitters, which was like really inexpensive and I'm kind of nervous that like that might be a crappy shelf if it was that inexpensive. But we ordered this pack of three shelves on Amazon and we love them so much that I kind of want to order them again. But I'm like, is that really lame to have three of the same shelf in your house? And Bradley was like, no, it's nice. And I was like, shut up Bradley, what do you know? <laughs> but anyway I love these kind of like small pots for just like side tables or shelves because I love a plant on a shelf like I am really into shelves and plants right now if you can't tell but yeah those are my three little Urban Outfitters planters that I'm so excited about the other two that I just ordered are more like vases I'll insert pictures. I got one that's like a butt. It's like a woman's butt and a vagina. I just thought it was really cute. Um, and then I also got, oh, this really cool pink face that kind of cinches in at the waist, the waist at the middle. It's so cute and I'm really excited about it. And if I order the, all these more shelves, I'm gonna need so many more pots. And then something I got from Cost Plus World Market, which you may have seen if you watch Nikki Philippi, she has this somewhere in her house and I like messaged her. I was like, oh, I freaking love that. And she was like, thank you, I got it at Cost Plus. And I was like, oh, we, I have a Cost Plus near me, but I never think to go there. And we're looking for some new furniture and I found some furniture I like from there. I don't know if we're gonna order it yet or not. I did get this, it's this really cool kind of like salmon-y pink, what would you call this, bottle neck vase? <laughs> but it has like the little sticky pokey things out. I just love the texture of it. Love that it's oh, like see-through and I will use this Maybe to like hold basil or parsley or dill or something like an herb. Or um, I really want to get lavender in my garden because I want to have something that I can snip from the garden to bring into the house that's like fresh flowers. But I don't always want to spend the money on fresh flowers and I don't think I have a green enough thumb yet. And there goes the sun. Thank you for coming. It was nice to see you. <laughs> Man, I don't have a green enough thumb yet for flowers in the garden. I really don't know. I've, I've just tried and I don't have the room. I'm trying to stick with like things in the garden that I can use besides my plumeria tree because that's just freaking easy to take care of. But everything else pretty much I can eat or use. Pretty much eat. My aloe vera plant has outgrown its pot. I'm ranting today guys but I want to put lavender in this or parsley or basil or dill or just something because I just thought it was so cute and it was only two dollars like this is like an anthropology quality vase and they had other colors they had other shapes and sizes like along the same lines you can get three of them you know if you want again would look great on a shelf so I'm obsessed with this so thank you Nikki for recommending okay next I went well should I go in order of store or in order of size we can do both I don't know why I'm leaning in. Okay, so I got some frames and when I was registering for my wedding, which if you're curious, I did a bridal shower haul, a wedding haul. I will link them in the corner as this, or this corner, I don't remember, somewhere. As this video continues, welcome back. Before I was registering, I was kind of asking you guys in tweets and Instagram and videos, like, what did what do you recommend I register for? Because I didn't really want to miss anything. And I don't think I did. A lot of you guys said 
frames, like a really nice frame in which I didn't listen to you. <laughs> because I prefer to get my frames at home goods because I kind of find that I get tired of frames and I like to switch them out and I don't feel as bad if I am buying them for very cheap at home goods. So as you saw in our we did like a house projects video again I will link that up in the corner. I have a side question. Do you guys like the cards up in the corner or would you prefer I link down below when I'm talking about a video? Would you prefer both? If you didn't know, at the if you're not in the mood to click what I'm talking about in the certain moment because I'm you want to hear what I'm saying and you don't want to leave me right now, at the end of the video you can click the little eye, like hover your mouse, and then all those videos will pop up. But if you're not into that and you want me to link down below, let me know. But anyway, I will link that house projects video up above, maybe down below. <laughs> but we did our wedding gallery wall, which we got all the frames from Home Goods. It was so much fun and so like it was just really fulfilling. That's how we spent our Valentine's Day, just like picking out the frames, getting the photos printed, hanging it up on the wall. It was so much fun. But ever since then, we've been kind of switching out frames, switching out photos. And I found these two Kate Spade frames, which I was really excited about, and which they weren't that cheap. Like this one was originally $30, I got it for $19, so it's not like you're saving big bucks. But I thought these looked really nice together with like the mixed metals, the rose gold, the dark blue, and I just thought they were so cute. So this one is a 5 by 7 Kate Spade, like I said, and if I can find these, I'll link them down below. I feel like I might be able to find them somewhere. They'll be full price probably, but if you want it. So this one is like dark blue with a cream trim with gold outlining, which is really pretty. And then this one is so cute. Kind of like a mirrored situation, rose gold with like polka dots on it. And this one is a four by six. So I have that table behind my couch that I have a frame there, but I hate it. So I'm excited to get rid of it. Um, and I have a lamp there and that's it. I, I, I don't know what else I had. I had a plant, but it died. So like I said, I'm redoing all the plants, all the photos, the whole house. Would you guys be interested in a new updated apartment tour video? Somebody requested that in my last, like, what do you want to see thing on Instagram? And I was kind of really into it because although a lot of it is the same, a lot of it has changed. So let me know. But yeah, these will just be like this or something behind my couch. Love it. And yeah, after this video, I'm going to pick out pictures to print from Costco. Only Costco. Costco prints the best photos. You got to do the luster finish. 10 out of 10. <coughs> and so cheap. I love printing photos, but it also makes me nervous because it's like, what can I stand to look at it myself for like years? The wedding ones were easy because they looked great, but like, you know. One last thing I got at Home Goods, which is very heavy, but I'm really excited about it. And here I am, I'm like, oh, I'm over candles. I'm not burning candles anymore. But then I'm like, here's a candle. So this is by DW Home, which I, I got a candle from them from Home Goods before, and I love it. I still have it. It's a huge one, as is this. But I, I always see Zoella, who I love. Her style is very similar to mine. So I find myself drawn to a lot of the things that she has. And she always has these huge like multi-wick candles and I'm just like, that is incredible. And I never see them, except for like anthropology and they're so expensive. But here is this one, this is Gardenia. They had another one, Bradley's watching the new Star Wars trailer really loud. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. I wouldn't dare tell him to turn that down though. I know how he feels about that and he's excited. <laughs> they had a jasmine one that was kind of more of a blue color, which would have been prettier, but I much prefer the way this one smells. It smells incredible. I love gardenia and it's just like a four wick candle. I also think this would look really cool on that long table that I have behind the couch with the two frames. So I'm going to play around with that. Maybe a little plant on there as well. But yeah, I am so excited about this. And this is originally $50. I got it for 30. So it's a little bit, it's still kind of pricey, but like I have a feeling this will last forever and I won't really use it probably only unless company is over or maybe like behind me filming. This would be beautiful. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm very excited about that. And then one last thing from Home Goods. I'm down here. <laughs> one last thing from Home Goods before we move on to Ikea. It's kind of a bigger purchase is this frame. This is so cute. And I just mentioned <laughs> we did that gallery wall behind the couch for the wedding photos. And we went to like two different home goods to try and find enough frames of like, we knew we picked out the, fr the pictures we wanted first, like what size, like we want this one big, we want this one a little bit smaller, but then we were kind of lenient on like the sizes themselves. So whatever, we were done with the gallery wall. And of course, the next time I go into home goods, they have this beautiful frame that I would have loved on the gallery wall. I can't really show you. Here we go, probably out of focus, but isn't this 
gorgeous. So although this won't be going on the gallery wall, like I said, we're redoing the office and I have a spot for this and I want to blow up this picture of us from our honeymoon. We took it at Alani right before we were going to a very fancy dinner and I just looking at the photo makes me so happy and I just know it will look good blown up. So I'm going to put that in here and then hang it on the wall. Bradley's going to hang it on the wall. But I just like, what size is this? I don't even know what size it is. Mm. I don't know what size it is. I'm gonna have to measure it. But I just like know that these big nice frames when you look on even Wayfair or Etsy or anything they're really expensive and at Home Goods they're just such a deal. All the frames we got were under $20. Most of them were around $16 like the really big 20 by 16 ones. This one was $25 so not that cheap but like so beautiful so now kind of whenever I find a big one that I like I'm just gonna buy it and figure it out because I love big frames all of a sudden. I'm just so into it. So I love this. I'm so excited and if you're curious this is by Brewster Home Fashions very fashion and last but not least we went to Ikea I went with my siblings because my brother whatever that you don't need to know that story I went with my siblings we had a beautiful Ikea lunch in the cafeteria me Bradley Katie my brother and his wife Eleni and it was great and then we perused around and I wasn't really planning actually I was planning on buying some stuff mainly plant pots which I got two but first I saw this wall art which is so cute and I had one of these kind of in one of my wish lists from shoot where is it from I don't remember where it's from but it was like $25 this from Ikea you got this and another print that said BU with a rainbow that I didn't really care for so I gave it to my sister mm. but you got both for $10 which I thought was such a steal and I love this I'm gonna frame it some I'm gonna hang it somewhere in my beauty area just because of the eyelashes. I just think it's so cute. And yes, you could probably make this yourself, but I didn't want to. I just thought it was really cute and I like the size of it. I feel like it's a good size and I just love it. So I'm really excited about that. And then last but not least, I got two plant pots. We want to put um, another, we got the fiddly fig tree, which you guys, I don't know how to take care of that. I don't think I'm doing a good job. I think it's like dying, but I'm trying to learn about it. <laughs> and you guys have given me tips, but, but and they're all great tips, but they're all differing. So it's kind of like you got to figure out what works for your plant in your house. So it's trial and error. But we love having the greenery in the house, like the big one. So we have this area by the fireplace we wanted to put another plant. I suggested a snake plant because it's not really going to get much sun. So I wanted to buy the pot before I bought the plant just because like... I don't know, I can just take this with me and see what fits. And this is actually the exact same planter pot basket, if you will, that we got for the fiddly fig. It's just smaller, but I love the idea that they're matching if we ever like move things around or move houses and we have the two plants next to each other. And I just really like this. I like that it's like blue with the lighter woven basket material, but I love this and I believe this was $20, but the day we went, we got 25% off all pots and I was really excited about that. So um, yeah, I will have this link down below if I can find it. It's called the Stenbar Swedish. And then last but not least, you guys saw that I got a lime tree at Costco, or maybe you didn't. I got a lime tree at Costco and I'm so excited about it. The lime tree was $22. You cannot beat that. I love Costco. I love it. But I needed another pot for it and um, I'm echoing in the bucket. Hello! So I have my lemon tree in a pot and I kind of knew what size I kind of needed. Um, so this is pretty similar. So it's kind of really big. Um, so here is the lime tree pot. But I liked the color of it. It's like not too nice. I, I don't like to put too nice of quality pots outside because it gives me anxiety. Like what if the wind breaks it? Because I've been there. So it's just, it's perfect quality for outside. And I will show you us repotting the lime tree in my next garden update, which again, I'll try to get up next month. But okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love a home haul. I'm off to Baja Fresh with one of my pals and my husband. Pretty pumped about that. And then to the plant store to get plants. Oh, what a day. I also have so many videos to edit tonight, so. But yes, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I already said that. <laughs> Thank you again to Ebates for sponsoring this video. You guys, check it out, install it, sign up. It's free. I didn't even mention it's totally free to use. You just save money. It's incredible. Again, I'll have the links down below in the special deals that you might want to know about. If you guys want more home videos, I will link my playlist up in the corner. But otherwise, I love you. I will see you in the next video. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.